Gaming is where I've bothered a lot of my platform theory from. Because what happens in games now happens in all of business. What I mean by that <laughs> is <laughs> that, that if you think of the game, there is a core, which is called the core mechanic, <coughs> right? And you know, in something like Mario Brothers, there's just jumping and shooting, based on which you lead to a larger goal, which is you know, going from one level to, to the other, based on which there's an even larger goal, which is saving the princess, right? So there are different layers of goals, all of which translate back to this small core mechanic. If you get that core mechanic right, and if you make it interesting, Flappy Bird is a great example. Yeah. If somebody hasn't played, they'll say, what, what's, what's the point? You're just clicking, clicking. The, the thing is, as long as you can get the clicking fun and tied to a bigger goal, you got the right thing. That's exactly what happens on platforms. Because the only thing that you as a platform creator control are the tools and rules. You don't have the network, you don't have the data. The only thing you create is the tools and rules. But what happens with the tools and rules is there's an interaction that builds because of the tools and rules, and there's an experience that builds because of that as a consequence. So let me take an example. Think of Twitter. Twitter creates the tools and rules, right? The, the rules of Twitter is the tweet should be 140 characters long. If you want things to be discovered, you need to put a hashtag. If you want to target somebody, you need to put an at sign before that person. What's the, what's the interaction that Twitter creates? Somebody creates a tweet, somebody consumes a tweet, things get retweeted, the more things get retweeted, the more people get excited about certain things, and some of those things go to trending topics. So that's the tools and rules, that's the interaction. What's the experience? You have the whole Adam Springs happening because of Twitter. You have Oscars being consumed on Twitter. You have people discussing what they had for breakfast also on Twitter. The thing is there are two different types of experiences. You are totally changing the politics of a country, and you're talking about what a guy had for breakfast. Both of those are being involved, are coming out of the same interaction, out of the same set of tools and rules, which is exactly how gaming works. So I, I really love you know, the huge amount of work that's been put into game design. I think it's too restricted to a particular niche, because very few things in the past have been emergent. But as things get more networked, as everything becomes about interactions, what we see in game design is going to happen everywhere. It's not just about gamification, about leaderboards, it's much more. It's the whole nine yards of game design.